Um, Tyrese, you ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Let's take our first question then from um, Eric Walden. Hey, Tyrese, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Just wondering if you could start off by uh, telling us which teams you have uh, worked out in person for. I haven't worked out for many teams. I only worked out for one team as of right now. But uh, right now, I've just been working on my game, working on you know with Chris Johnson at six a.m. and working uh, on the way to the eight and, and going back at ten. So right now, I'm not really focused on any of that. Just trying to get better. And have you had any contact with the Utah Jazz via Zoom? Uh, yes, sir. I have had a Zoom meeting with Utah. Thank you. Okay, next up, um, Spencer Davies. Hey, Tyrese. I'm just wondering, what did that stage and, and uh, you know, audience for your pro day do for you uh, confidence-wise, and how do you feel you performed on that stage? I think the pro day stage was, was that Clutch put on was, was amazing. You know, have guys like Andy Davis, LeBron, Gary Trent, um, Trey Young, different guys just there cheering you on and, and, you know, appreciating the work that you've been putting in. It feels great. But my confidence-wise, uh, I put in so much work, you know, when, when people aren't looking and when people are in the stands, um, my confidence is so high. I believe in myself. So, you know, it's just a confidence booster because my confidence is already, you know, level 10 and maximized. So and it was a really good event. Okay, next up, Matt George. Appreciate you doing this, Tyrese. Have you had any contact with the Sacramento Kings uh, in terms of either a workout or a Zoom call? And then how do you see yourself fitting in playing alongside a guard like De'Aaron Fox? Uh, yes, sir, I have. And, you know, it'll be cool, you know, play with a guy like De'Aaron. Um, I'll just try to go out there and win, every, you know, compete extremely hard, practice in the games. And, and they'll play off of another guard like De'Aaron. They have other guys like Corey Joseph and Bogdanovich and, and, and Bagley and Harry Giles and a, a very good young team. And I feel like they're heading in the right, the right direction. All right, next question from Callie Kaplan. Hey, Terry, sorry for the delay there. Um, to go off that question too, curious if you've talked with uh, the Mavericks and what you think about fitting in in the hometown team. Uh, yes, I've had a, a Zoom with, with the Mavericks, and uh, it'll be cool, you know, to play in the, the city that I grew up in, and uh, that's about it. It's just, you know, it's a great, great city, great organization um, from top to bottom, and, you know, they have a very interesting team and, and a team that's headed in the right direction as well. Thank you. All right, next question from Christian Clark. Hey, Tyrese. Uh, Christian Clark here in New Orleans. Uh, I feel like I have a – a pretty good handle on, on the things you're already good at, but just what are some of the, the emphasis areas for you, things you want to improve um, to, to get ready to contribute at the NBA level? Uh, nice to meet you. And uh, first and foremost, I would say is, you know, I feel like I'm a way better shooter than what my numbers show. Um, shot 29% from three at college. But, you know, like I said, I, I feel like I'm a way better shooter than, than what the numbers say. And But I've really been working extremely hard to – to be consistent. And um, I think I shot like a flat ball in, in college. So I've been working with a uh, trainer, Chris Johnson, uh, every single day since, since May on uh, getting my, my arc up, getting my elbow above my eye and shooting reps on reps on reps on reps. Uh, I started at 6 a.m., uh, wake up at 4.50, get in the gym at 6, uh, making at least 700, 800 shots then, go lift in between. Uh, going back to the gym at 10 again and you know, doing the same thing over and again and making those, getting those reps and making those shots and, and getting those 800 makes in. And, you know, I was playing at 12. So th all of that is just helping me get those repetitions up. And so you have to be able to shoot the ball at the next level. At a guard, my height and, you know, guards in the NBA period, it's hard to play, uh, get on the floor and play in the NBA game without being able to make, knock down wide open threes. And, and that's one thing that I really want to show that I'm able to do. Another thing is, is coming off ball screens just because it's a big part of today's game. I feel like a lot of dynamic guards are able to come off ball screens and make plays for themselves and make plays for others, and I feel like I can do that as well. But I've really been working on it just to show that I can make different reads, uh, like I said, for myself and for others. All right, next question from Josh Coyne. Uh, 
Hi, thank you very much for your time. Um, your dad is heavily involved in basketball at SMU. Can you talk us through the role he's played in preparing you for this process? Uh, he's played, my father's played a significant role, probably the, the highest of everybody in my life, just because, um, you know, he, he, he was a Division One basketball player at, at Washington State University, played under a, a, a terrific coach in, in Coach Sampson, and he knows what it takes to, to, to get to the next level. He knew what it takes to become a Division One athlete. He know what the coach is like. He know what the coaches are going to demand and expect of you. And he demanded that of me at, at an early age. I tell people all the time, um, I was an eight, eight years old. You know, so I think that's second grade, watching film, watching fit Like, imagine your father making you watch film over, you know, past games at eight years old. And I think he just set that pedigree and set that bar for me, you know, at a young age. And now I just carried on to a, uh, the player and the IQ that I had to, uh, today. Thank you. All right. Next question from Ian Begley. Hey, Tyrese, thanks for doing this. And I'm sorry if you answered this already. Uh, did, have you worked out in person with the Knicks or the Nets? And also, could you list the teams that you have worked out with in person for? I'm sorry. It was hard for me to hear you. It was like, I can just say it was a little bit noisy. Like, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you that well. Sorry about that. Um, have you worked out, Tyrese, for the Knicks or the Nets in person? And could you list the teams that you have worked out for in person? Uh, no, I have not worked out for the Knicks or the Nets. I've only had one workout so far, and, you know, it went pretty well. But, um, but yeah, I mean, right now I'm just focusing on getting better extremely every single day, and the time will come when, when all that is said and done. I'm sorry, who, who was that team with the workout that you had? The Pelicans. Thank you. All right, next question from Jeff Garcia. Hey, Tyrese, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good to meet you. Uh, did you have any contact with the Spurs? I did, yes, sir. And uh, how did that go? It went well. It went well talking to those guys. I mean, uh, the Spurs is a, a great organization. Uh, I feel like they're going to get right back on you know, the same track that they've been on for the past, you know, decade, yeah. and even in the 2000s. Uh, but, um, yeah, it went pretty well, and that would be, a, you know, a great organization. And what would it be like to play with Kelvin Johnson? It would be great to play <laughs> with, a, you know, a former Kentucky alum. You know, Kelvin, Kelvin plays the game extremely hard, and he plays to win. And those are the type of guys that any organization is, is glad to have. Thanks, Tyrese. Thank you. All right. Next question from David Esser. Hi, Tyrese. David Ezra here with Philly Sports Network. I know you mentioned you'd only worked out with New Orleans thus far, but have you had any sort of Zoom contact with the Philadelphia 76ers? And if you have, how has that gone? Uh, no, sir, I have not. Okay, thank you so much. And next question from Mark Berman. Uh, hey, Tyrese. Uh, I cover the Knicks. Uh, Kenny Payne as the new assistant coach, just what was your reaction when you found out and what do you think he could do in the NBA uh, as an assistant? Uh, I was ecstatic when I found out that uh, Coach Kenny Payne was, you know, uh, going to make that jump and going to the next level because he deserves it. And uh, he he created a connection with, every. I think, all of the guys that have um, came through Kentucky by the time that he's been there. And he's been very solid. You know, he tells everybody the truth. He doesn't sugarcoat anything, and you know he's always going to help you work extremely hard and reach with the goals that you you know set for yourself. And he's going to push you. He's going to make sure that you, know, you get the best out of uh, best out of yourself, and you won't be able to sell yourself short. So I was very proud of him, and I was really glad to hear that. Also, um, just your pro day workout. I mean, do you feel <clears throat> you showed a lot of stuff uh, on ESPN that night? I did. I, I think felt like I was able to show um, how consistent my shooting is. You know, like I said, I feel like I shoot the ball way better than, you know, what my numbers show from last year. And I feel like I was able to show that. I was also able to show uh, my conditioning and what type of shape I was in. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life right now. And I think another thing I was able to show is, is just my explosiveness. I feel like my vertical has, has increased by three or four inches. And I feel you know, like I'm at the, you know, the best shape of my life, like I said. Thank you.
Next Thank question you. from Chris Grenham. Hey Tyrese, um, have you had any contact with the Boston Celtics? And if so, how, uh, how did that go? Um, no, sir, I have not. Thank you. Okay, and we'll take the uh, next question from Christos Saltas. Hello, Tyrese. Uh, first of all, how big influence uh, was from Coach Cal to you and your, to your game? And also the path of uh, Bama De Bayo and uh, Tyler Hero is a kind of example for you about the NBA. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. It was, it was breaking up. Can you repeat yeah. the question, please? Yeah, you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. How big influence was about uh, from Coach Cal to you and to your game? And uh, about Tyler Hero and Bama De Bayo is a kind of examples for you. You said how big of an influence was who? From Coach Cal. Oh, Coach Cal. Oh, 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 oh. Coach Cal was the, he was the best man. He was the he, he well he told me the first day that I walked into and I, I stepped on campus. He told me he was gonna push me extremely hard and uh, push me the hardest that he was ever gonna push anybody on this team. And he said he saw a lot of potential in me. He saw what you know I could be in the future and what I could bring to the table. And he wasn't gonna let me sell myself short. And I feel like he does that. He does that. He gets the best out of you know all his players. And I think he's gonna do that with me. And he did that with me as well. And you know I really appreciate him for that. Thank you. And then we'll take our last question from Sean Barnard. Yeah, hi, Tyrese. Thanks for doing this. Uh, you showed your ability to guard taller defenders in college. Why do you seem so comfortable with this? I think just because, you know, one, I had to guard them because we had a three-guard lineup. And, and I think I was the probably the, the tallest and the strongest out of that lineup. So, you know, I had to show my versatility and be able to guard whoever it was on the court. If it was, um, you know, if I had – my matchup was the smallest person in the guard and the point guard and the guard and the, you know, most of our neighbor score had to do that. Some games I had to guard, like you said, guys like Robert Woodard from Mississippi State, who was a strong, you know, uh, I think a three, two, three, three, four, maybe swing in the league. And I had to do that. And I feel like I was able to do it because, you know, my strength and my competitive nature. And I don't feel like it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm maybe going to be able to guard one, two, three in the league just because of you know, my competitive spirit and, you know, my fight. And just being a cerebral defender, I feel like defense is is 90% mental because if you watch the film and, and start to learn other people's tendencies, then you can learn how to to take that away from them and, you know, force them and take the shots that you want them to take that are, that are lower percentage for them. And that's what all I did in, in college and, and what I've done in the past and what I'll continue to do at the next level. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you.